In this video, I'm going to show you probably one of my favorite passing concepts in all of Madden history. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you're new to the channel, my channel is focused on helping people get better on both sides of the ball in Madden. So if you want to subscribe to get access to all the free content, we upload videos every single day that can help you get better at this game. Now, right now, we're talking about the Gun Y Off Trips Pats from the New England Patriots Offensive Playbook. This is a great formation. It's also uh, been called the U Trips. It's what I would normally call it. It's what's been called in the past. And so, what we're going to be talking about in this video is we're going to be talking about a, a way that you can create a nice high low read or levels concept that is really, really good against man coverage as well as zone coverage. Now, the play we're going to be going over is the play tight end whip from the U-Trips or the, the Y-Off Trips Pats. And what we're going to do is we're just going to come out in a random, um, just a random nickel set here, and uh, we're going to talk about these reads. So it's a really simple setup. If you have Hot Route Master, you could run it um, some, uh, you know, a little bit different. If you don't have Hot Route Master, it's, don't worry, you're still going to be good, okay? So really simple. Whenever we're running U trips, we have to understand um, the first things that we gotta we gotta understand a little bit of how they're gonna defend us. So a um, couple things that we can do here. The first things first is this X route to the tight end is really really good um, against man to man coverage. We want to give it time for that route to be able to work well against man, but also we want to be able to give it time to pull zones out of the middle of the field so that we can throw this um, this route to R one. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the circle receiver on this play, and we are going to put him on a uh, curl route, and we're going to smart route it just like that. If you don't, if 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 it's like second and two, you don't want to smart route it, but um, if it's like first and ten, it's a great idea. I think the smart route routes. Um, this route to square, we're going to leave as it is on this play, and then what we're going to do um, is we're going to take the running back. And we're just going to, we, we can do a lot of things. Um, you can wheel him. I think I think wheeling him is probably the best way to go um, or, to, or to simply block and release him. One of those two things is what I would do. And then because he's gonna help pull out the, the flats on the left so that we can throw that R1 route. The R1 route is the route that we wanna throw. It's our favorite route in the game. So we're gonna motion this guy all the way out to the numbers. We're gonna snap him. Um, just outside right at that positive play thing right there and what you're gonna see is if they're in any kind of standard zone um, This R1 route is going to get under pretty much every single zone What I like about it is it's a, it's not as fast as a drag route So it's gonna really give us opportunities to pull these zones out of the way now if they're not playing flat zone uh, coverage on either side of the field, but specifically if they're not playing flat zone coverage on the right side of the field or the left side of the field, we can easily throw this ball um, to the running back. And you're going to know, like, you see how man coverage, if they try to blitz you from man, you're going to have a nice little clean um, outside pass lead to the running back. That's a really, really good gift uh, that we have within this. And again, we're just trying to get him as far out as we want him to really drag underneath because that's that's an easy like three to seven yards that is going to force them to have to start usering on the left side of the field by the running back and the solo receiver, which is going to open up a lot of our other concepts uh, from this. Now, if they're coming down on that route, what's really cool is we have this post route that's going to kind of break first. And as you can see right there, that post route is going to basically beat every single coverage in the game. There's not a coverage in the game that is going to be super, super successful against that post route, especially if you have a, a good route runner there. Um, and the other thing is you're going to see, like against uh, cover two, I totally uh, threw it too late. But she, it's basically what you've done is you've created a really, really powerful uh, high-low read between R1 and and the square receiver. And again, your motion getting way out there because if you get the more the the more you get him out there, the harder it becomes for your opponent to be able to use her both the in route and the post. That's really the idea here. We don't want him to be able to use her both routes. Um, here you see your tight end whip route is going to be really good uh, against man coverage. Also, the other thing is, as you're reading this, the reads on this are so streamlined, but basically what's going to happen 
is as the play is flowing across, you're looking left to right, and then as you can see here, you've got this nice route to circle that you can always hit if the play breaks down. This curl route to circle pretty much will beat every single coverage in the game. Um, that's why I like to use it. It's a nice little route concept. So you'll see here zone coverage, the whip route's gonna pull the zones, and then you can throw circle in behind it. I threw it a little bit early there. Because again, you're, you've gotta go through your progressions, so your progression is flat to dig, um, to in route, then backside to the curl. But most of the time, the zones are gonna get really stretched horizontally, um, or uh, they're gonna be pulled to the outside so much that you're gonna have a lot of easy reads over the middle of the field. And again, it's you're really gonna really capitalize on this post route. This post route is really the the, the money route of this of this concept. Now, um, another way that you could run this concept is by using vertical routes. Um, so what that looks like would be something like this. So what we could do um, is we could take the circle receiver on this play and we could put him on a curl or a comeback, okay? Um, and then we could take the tight end or the X and put him on a streak, okay? And then we can basically take the back and I'd probably just block him, but we can also just leave him on that wheel route. What this is going to do is it's going to create uh, a significant amount of space for you to be able to throw that square uh, post on the sideline if the play breaks down. So essentially what you're doing is you're running four verticals on one side of this ball and then you're running you know, a nice little levels concept on the opposite side. As you can see right here, it's really going to pull the deep blue zones and it's gonna give you a lot of room to be able to hit that post. So this one of the best plays in the game. U-Trips is one of the best offenses in the game. And if you wanna learn about how to use this play and other plays in the rest of the U-Trips offensive scheme, I wanna encourage you to pick up the ebook in the description. Um, it's a really, really, really good offense and we've got it all detailed down there below for you. This offense has been good for a couple of years and it's continuing to get better each season.